Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Greg Jones. I'm a naturopathic physician and the medical director of Innovative Wellness Center here in Phoenix, Arizona. I've spent my career in longevity medicine focusing on the tools that actually move the needle, like peptide therapy, hormone optimization, and regenerative medicine. But today we're talking about one of my favorite molecules for longevity, NAD. You've probably heard the buzz. Maybe you've seen celebrities hooked up on IV drips, or you've seen supplements claiming to be the fountain of youth. But what is it actually doing in your cells? Is it just expensive hype? Is it a biological necessity? Or is it just nothing? But in this video, I'm going to walk you through the top seven benefits of NAD. We'll cover how it recharges your mitochondria, why it's essential for DNA repair, and the one many of my patients care the most about, how it clears brain fog. And stick around until the end, because I'm going to briefly touch on the delivery methods, IVs versus sub -Q injections versus oral precursors, because how you take it matters just as much as what you take. So let's get into it. Benefit number one is the big one, cellular energy production. NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's a coenzyme found in every cell in the body. Think of your cells like a hybrid car. The engine of that car is the mitochondria. For that engine to run, it needs fuel, that's glucose or fatty acids, and a spark. NAD is that spark. It is responsible for accepting and donating electrons in the process that creates ATP, the chemical energy that keeps your heart beating and your brain thinking. The problem is, as we age, our NAD levels drop by almost 50%. It's like trying to drive that car with weak spark plugs. Restoring NAD helps the engine fire efficiently again. Number two, DNA repair. Every day your DNA takes a beating from ultraviolet rays, radiation, pollution, and just normal metabolic processing. Imagine your DNA as a highway and these damages are potholes. Now, thankfully your body has a rogue crew called PARPs or poly ADP ribose polymerases. These enzymes go around fixing the potholes so traffic can keep moving. Now here's the catch the PARP enzymes consume NAD to do their job. So if your NAD levels are already low, the row crew goes on strike. The potholes don't get fixed, DNA damage accumulates, and that is a primary driver of aging. Now, boosting NAD keeps the row crew funded and working. Now, benefit number three involves a family of proteins called sirtuins. I call sirtuins the CEO of the cell. It regulates cellular health, turn on longevity genes, and control inflammation. But the CEO can't work without a budget and the currency they spend is NAD. So when NAD levels are high, sirtuins are active, they protect your telomeres, and they improve your resistance to stress. When NAD is low, the CEO takes a vacation, and the cell becomes vulnerable to disease. Now, this is why NAD is so closely linked to lifespan extension in animal studies. Now, benefit number four is usually the first thing people notice. That's improvements in brain fog. The brain is an energy hog. It consumes about 20% of your body's total energy. If your mitochondrial spark plugs are weak, your brain fills it first. NAD also supports neuroprotection. It helps maintain the health of neurons and supports the production of neurotransmitters. When we administer NAD, patients often describe it as wiping the windshield or clearing the cache on their computer. The processing speed goes up, and that mid-afternoon mental fatigue starts to vanish. Benefit number five, better sleep and circadian rhythm. Now, this one really surprises people because NAD levels actually fluctuate with your circadian rhythm. They regulate the body's internal clock. Disrupted NAD cycles are linked to disrupted sleep cycles. By optimizing your NAD levels, you're helping to recalibrate that master clock. Now, a quick clinical note here. Because NAD gives you energy, we don't want to take high doses right before bedtime. But structurally, over time, having healthy NAD levels actually leads to deeper, more restorative sleep patterns. Now, benefit number six is reducing chronic inflammation. We talked about sirtuins earlier. One of their specific jobs is to inhibit a pathway called NF-kappa-beta. You don't need to memorize that acronym, but just know that NF-kappa-beta is the master switch for inflammation in your body. By fueling the sirtuins with NAD, you're effectively helping your body keep its hand on the off switch for chronic inflammation. This is why many people with autoimmune conditions or chronic joint pain report feeling better when their NAD levels are optimized. And finally, benefit number seven, metabolic health. Now, metabolism isn't just about weight loss. It's about flexibility. It's the ability to switch between burning carbs and burning fat efficiently. And NAD plays a major role in regulating metabolism and insulin sensitivity. As those levels decline with age, we often see metabolic rigidity, where the body struggles to process fuels, leading to weight gain and insulin resistance. Now, restoring NAD levels can help bring that flexibility back. So we have energy, DNA repair, longevity genes, brain power, sleep, inflammation, and metabolism. Sounds perfect, right? But here's the nuance. You just can't eat NAD. It's a very fragile molecule. So here are three main ways to increase NAD. IV therapy. NAD goes straight into your vein, bypassing digestion. It's a powerful method, 
but it can be uncomfortable and take more time to complete. Then there's subcutaneous injections. Now this is a great middle ground. You can do it at home and it keeps your NAD levels steady. And lastly, there are oral supplements that your body converts into NAD or helps you recycle NAD. And this is the NR and the NMN and other products that help support the salvage pathway. Now the decision on which method depends on your goals, your time, and your overall metabolic health. So if you're feeling sluggish, foggy, or feel like you just lost your spark, NAD is a pathway you need to investigate. So if you found this breakdown helpful, please hit that like button. It helps us get this information to more people who really need it. And if you're wondering, okay, Dr. Jones, but which delivery method is actually best for me, IVs or supplements, I want you to watch my deep dive with Dr. Paul Anderson. The link will be on the end screen. And in this video, we break down the pros and cons of NAD and its precursors. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.